G'day viewers, I'm just trying a little uh, something about up on the internet. Apparently this is quite effective, it's um, uh, a capacitive lead acid battery desulfator. Or a, not a capacitive battery charger. Now I tried with capacitors, I tried that uh, one off the, off the uh, mercury vapor light, 25 microfarad, and that microwave capacitor, 1 microfarad. But that restricted so much current it wasn't funny. Since capacitors are connected in series of the AC line to limit the current to charge a battery, a ballast does the same thing, doesn't it? There you go. I suppose not everyone has access to these ballasts, they just use those capacitors because they're um, easier to get. They pretty much do the same thing, so why not use a ballast? A proper ballast. That's what I've done there. It was at 10.8 volts, so it's pretty flat. And it skyrocketed to 17.8 volts. Now it's slowly going down as it's charging. Funny birds. I did try, uh, capac if you're going to use capacitors, the value is important. 1000 microfarad, or in this case, 4000 microfarad, it's uh -uh, too much. Slowly crank it up on the variac, and yeah, she pulled amps. And let the yeah, air, got pretty much all the mains voltage into that battery, basically. But it did not uh, do much to stop the current, let, let too much current through. That would have popped the rectifier, so. 6 amp rectifier, 3.25 amp ballast. Seems to keep it happy in this circuit. Do some checks. Rectifiers, yeah, it's getting hot but not stupid hot. That's only half loaded. Check the ballast. Yeah, it's working alright. It's holding over 12 volts. It's not filtered, so you don't want it filtered. So you want the battery to get as much ripple into that battery as you can. The 100 hertz ripple is actually pulsing and shaking the lead sulfate off the plates. I'll probably add a fan of that um, bridge rectifier just to keep it happier longer. Because if that gets equally hot as that, even though that's 3.25, that's a 6 amp um, rectifier, uh, and that's only 3.25 amp, it might still blow up from the heat, so. Just to keep it the happiest, put a, I might put a fan on that, just to get some extra, uh, make it last the longest. But so far, so good. It's only about on for about five minutes so far. They recommend, they recommend using AC uh, motor run or motor start capacitors. Well, this is the next best thing I got. So. Didn't allow enough current through, it was just so slow. Same with that. And those other Siemens capacitors I showed before are too much microfarads. Almost practically a bloody dead short across the whole circuit, so you need a certain amount of microfarads to do the trick. But the best ballast I've got is this one. Anyway, yeah, it's going down. I've got a proper desulfate going on this one. And it's gone up to 13, over 13 volts. 13.01, 13.01. One. This needs got a bit of sweat in the bloody thing. Messy ass battery, that's only 12.9. Full of these bloody sweats blowing it down. But they're all going over 13 volts, so I'm going to sleep them on for as long as I can. This still needs a bit more though. It still cranks, but not quite as good as it should. So keep it just desulfate it while it's still got plenty of life left in it. Hmm. See how good this new comes up after a while. I'll just leave it as long as I can. It's been about two weeks so far. Not quite, it might be 11, 12 days to be exact. Anyway, the longer I leave it the better. Carefully, have a check. Yeah, not much bubbling in there, but it's going. It's charging. I can see some moving around in there. 
Another thing people sometimes do is dump all the old acid and put fresh stuff in there. And get rid of all the um, lead, lead dioxide or the old greasy gunkets in there. And that can also hinder the battery's performance and how it charges. But if this doesn't, this seems to recover okay and desulfates all right, I might see if I can convert this to, this to an alum battery if I can. Yeah, this is an Exide battery. These Exide batteries do die pretty easily though, unfortunately, even though they're um, Aussie made. These die easier than the Century ones. Yeah, slowly, slowly. That bellows might be restricting a bit too much current, but I want it to, to do it evenly. Not cook the battery too much, even though they recommend cooking it, which helps speed up the desulfating process. Yeah, it's gone down 16 volts, just taking charge. Fans helping quite well. Working pretty adequately, they call that the big projector fire down. 6 amps and it's holding 13 amps, 12 and a half. Whew. Using those capacitors again. Damn, 13.7 amps. Yeah, 5 amps is pulling off the mains. 40 volts input, 29.67 volts in the battery. Unplug safety first. Ooh. Yeah, it's getting hot, but I don't want to let it get too bad. Just monitor that. I reckon that, that's on high now, so that's better. The air flow past that thing is good now. Volts. That's what the schematic says because that goes in series, capacitor in series of the AC line in the rectifier, then the rectifier DC into the battery. Now it's supposed to be given mains, rectified mains into the battery, so rectified 240 volts is about bloody 280 to 300 volts DC. That's what's supposed to go into the battery, and they're supposed to limit the current. And the 100 hertz pulse at that voltage will actually um, desulfate the battery in next to no time. So, I have got way too many capacitors. Too much capacitance. I'll plug that safety first, monitor that. Yeah, still getting a bit hot. Yeah, I might have to check those capacitors to see if they're okay. They should be. I'll plug the other ballast back in. Damn, that poor stupid current though. That battery must be pretty badly sulfated that it's pulling that much bloody current. With a heavily sulfated battery, that'll uh, desulfate it. So I've got that back the way it was. Zero. Unplug that. I don't need that anymore. I just plug it back in how I had it before. So, yeah. 12.10 volts. Stay in there now. It's slowing right down there. There we go. Let's uh, check those capacitors at the ESR meter. Just to double check there, okay. Capacitor safety. These are, these are AC capacitors. And with AC, they can hold a charge. Because they were acting as a ballast, they was giving a effect, it's effect it was a, they were effectively getting DC, so... I didn't get it done camera, but I got a little spark when I put this uh, before I, Put my hands on it. I carefully grab the plug top and just went like that with the pins on that um, bit of metal over there on that vice. And I got a little spark, so it did store charge. Just double checks there, okay. Yeah, yeah the capacitance has a lot to do with it, so that's why I'm getting a stupid amount of amps pulled. Yeah, 0.03 ohms. There should be about, yep, 
4,000 microfarad thereabouts. Yeah, that ESR, there's just a microfarad, there's way too many microfarads for this circuit. That's why it was pulling stupid amounts of current. It wasn't restricting it enough. Anyway, I'll go back to this method. It seems to be dropping the voltage at ballast. Back to more of a transformer. It's going to take a lot longer to desulfate, but... Eh, it's a battery charge nonetheless. I did put that capacitor in series of the ballast. It did uh, raise the voltage a little bit. Anyway, I think that's enough for now. Thanks for watching.